building systems. All right, I heard about systems for the first time from a friend who is in business many years ago. And he's been my friend since we were teenagers. And he also came to Lagos. I mean, we were teenagers together in Ilore Quara State. And he also came to Lagos, started business uh, at about the time we started the church. He hustled hard in this city. Hustled hard. You know, was into different kinds of businesses. And he used to drive around one Pojo 404 pickup van that he inherited from his late father. The car actually had died and he resurrected it. <laughs> so, I st- <laughs> he would come to church in the car and to start it, he would go into the car, put some wires together, then come out, open the bonnet, then put in a screwdriver somewhere, and then the car would start. It was amazing. The floor of the car, he would be driving on the road and be seeing the road. <laughs> because part of the floor was gone. So one day, he was driving on a Korodu road and said he, he did not know what happened. He said the road just turned upside down. <laughs> he said the road turned upside down. He just slammed hard on the brake. He stopped right in the middle of the road. something was going wrong with his body. He knew, he knew something was going wrong, so he stopped, opened the door, came out, you know, and pulled off his tie, pulled off his right in the middle of the road. <laughs> so other car driver stopped. <laughs> and some people ran to help him. He said he didn't know how he was feeling. He was just feeling very funny, you know. So he, he went straight from there to the hospital to see a doctor. The doctor checked him and said, it is stress. Nothing <laughs> is wrong with you. <laughs> they did ECG, did everything. It's stress. He said, as it is now, if you don't want to die, <laughs> you have to stay in the house and not come out. Till I ask you to come out, till I give you permission to get out. He was at home for weeks. So he said it was in the course of being at home that, you know, <clears throat> he had this waste management business, was trying to set up for pharmacy, had a bookshop, and all that. He was just doing many things like that. So he just took some of the books from the bookshop, and a particular one, interestingly, addressed his scenario, The Cash Flow Quadrant by Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki has this cash flow quadrant that he developed. That there are four ways in which you can make money. Okay, four quadrants. First, as an employee. Secondly, as a self-employed person. The third one, as a business owner. And the fourth one, as an investor. ESBI. So when you see the S and the B quadrants, at first it can be confusing because both of them are own businesses. But Robert says there's a major difference between the two, that the self-employed person is the person that is running the business alone. So... <clears throat> As part of the exercises in the book, my friend drew an organizational chart. Okay? (laughs) The organizational chart for his business. You know, drew all the boxes, the lines, all the departments. The revelation he got from looking at the organizational chart was that he was occupying all the boxes. (laughs) He was the chairman, CEO, 
He was general manager of finance, general manager of HR, general manager of marketing and sales, general manager. He occupied, including office assistant and driver. He occupied all the positions and instantly he understood why he was almost dying. So when he shared it with me, I, I quickly got the book too, you know, and got the lesson that he got. The major difference between the self-employed person and the business owner is ability to build systems. Major difference between the self-employed person, the person that is running the business alone, and the person that is able to build a big business is ability to build systems. So I began to pay attention to that.